you know our team is all in mm -hmm. on the commanders. Washington has a new owner. Now it needs a new home, and there is big news on that front today. Yeah, DC is making a major push to bring the commanders here. Mayor Muriel Bowser chose Nats Park to make her pitch to get the team to return to the RFK site. She revealed uh, she had a meeting with the new commander's owner, Josh Harris. Meanwhile, Governor Wes Moore says with Dan Snyder out of the picture, Maryland is eager to keep the team in Prince George's County. In fact, Moore told me at our town hall last night. In the last session, the Maryland budget allocated $400 million toward improving the area around FedEx Field. All right, so what about Virginia? Well, Governor Glenn Youngkin decided to hit up Commander's Training Camp today in Ashburn. Yeah, everybody's out uh -huh. making that full court <laughs> press about this. Sports Director Darren Haynes was there too, able to ask him about the Commonwealth's stadium bid. This is where Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin walked with the new Washington Commander owners. He high-fived fans and he signed autographs. But one thing the governor made very clear when he was here, Virginia is where Washington's NFL team should be. I mean, listen, I grew up in Virginia. I grew up in Richmond and Sundays was, was football day. And, and the new ownership, it brings a huge level of, of commitment and excitement. And to see all the fans out here is fabulous. This is gonna be the beginning of an exciting season. And on top of that, a brand new commitment to Washington football. And I've said many, many times, yeah. you know, Virginia should be the best place to live, work, raise a family, and it should be the best place to have a professional football team. Now, team president Jason Wright was also walking with the Virginia governor, and he knows Maryland and D.C. are also in play when it comes down to building a new stadium. In a one-on-one -on -one interview, Jason Wright spoke with only WUSA 9 on camera about the latest on a stadium search. Man, where's the stadium going to go? <laughs> First and foremost is getting in with the community and understanding that. And then, as Josh would say, they just got here. But he, was, complex, but he was reminiscing about the RFK days. Well, I mean, there's, I've, I've said this for some time now. RFK is a spiritual home of the team. Yeah. We all know that. Um, there is something about the team playing on that site that is embedded in the memories of our most ardent fans, that's tied to the championship legacy that still powers us now. And, but beyond that, this is a complex process. Now, Jason Wright also tells me he has had numerous conversations with new commander's owner, Josh Harrison. They're looking at everything and listening to almost everybody, including the fans, when it comes down to building a new stadium. Jason says it's important to Josh Harris to make sure the fans feel like they're at home, at training camp, or in their new stadium. Reporting from Ashburn, I'm Darren Haynes, W. USA 9 Sports.